This video is about speech therapy and Parkinson's. I've had um, speech therapy a couple times, so I want to talk to you about my experience with it because I think it's one of the un most underrated therapies that you can get. I know a lot of people haven't had speech therapy and um, I didn't realize before I took the speech therapy that it was going to be so beneficial. I have had like slight problems with my voice and um, after evaluation they did say that I can wait because my voice isn't that bad right now or I can start a program that they had and it was like a um, integrated therapy program so I also met with a occupational therapist and a physical therapist and a speech therapist. So the speech therapy part, um, it's a pretty long um, therapy, like I believe it was six weeks and it's part of the LSVT Lao program. So the problems that I was having, and I have problems on and off, um, the problems I have is with the volume sometimes. I was always soft-spoken, but with the Parkinson's, I'm really like a lot worse in, in that regard. And But it comes and goes, like sometimes my volume is okay and then sometimes no one can hear me. So they work on that. Um, I also have problems with facial expressions because my face with the Parkinson became kind of frozen. And I don't know, I don't think people notice it. They just think I'm quiet or, um, but yeah, I don't move my, my face that much because the face is like a muscle and so I have to think about it to move it. So they really help you with that. That's really useful because I found that like without great facial expressions, people don't know how you feel or they assume that you're always mad. So I really have to make an effort and that's why I kind of like doing these videos because I get to um, work on my um, all the things to do with my um, voice. I also was having um, problems with hoarseness um, every now and then again and articulation. Those were some of the main problems I was having. So they um, help with that. They also help with a lot of different things that I didn't think they helped with like they help with any cognitive difficulties you have. They also help with any um, swallowing problems or throat problems. And um, I was having problems where I felt like there was a lump in my throat and that I couldn't swallow that good. So they were part of the um, therapy I got from that and they were also part of the evaluation where I went to a throat specialist. But they didn't really find anything wrong with my throat and it kind of disappeared. So again, it's one of those things that comes and goes. Um, I think the problem that we have with speech with Parkinson's is that this whole area is a muscle. So it's something that we have to control and it's not automatic anymore. So I think that speech can um, improve greatly if you go through speech therapy. So don't hesitate. If you're offered speech therapy, I would highly recommend it. So I wanted to go through some of the things that they went through. They always warmed up, so um, I'm going to repeat some of the things that they go through. Um, so with the warm-up, it's not only like exercising your voice, it's also like regular exercising. So this is going to look kind of goofy, but I'm going to do some of the stuff. So they always would start like with a, a, a stretch. So I'm going to tilt my head from left to right. And I'm going through it pretty fast. And then you can like turn your head one way or the other way. Like from left to right. Then I do things like stick out your tongue. I hope my tongue doesn't look too weird. I just went to the dentist and got dental work. This actually looks goofy, but it, it feels really good. 
Then they do like breathing exercise. So some samples of that, like they said to imagine that you're blowing out a candle. So you go. And that's something simple, but it I can really feel it in my face because my face is so rigid and stiff. But I don't notice it as much until I do these exercises. And then these are just ones that I do myself that look kind of goofy. I kind of um, make my muscle move from one end to the other. Um, so there's a whole lot of other exercises. So they do like stretch relaxation, breathing exercises, and then a majority of the session is spent on speech exercises. And you can go through like individual speech therapy and you can go through group. I've been through both. Um, the first speech therapy was individual and then the second was group and um, I was lucky enough that my insurance paid for the sessions but they also did like free sessions um, with the group um, and so I was able to go through that because what I found is that you have to keep doing the exercises that they show you otherwise your voice problems come back um, so they do do like homework and you have to do your homework but I'm kind of getting off the, the path <laughs> so let me go back to this the exercises so I mentioned the stretch relaxation breathing then they do speech so they do a lot of these weird things where you go ah 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 So I'm not doing it really loud because I don't want my neighbors to hear me, but you're supposed to do it a lot louder than that. Um, and then you do exercises where they have you repeat certain words, like you make up words that you're going to use for every session, and then um, you repeat those words, and they actually track your volume. Um, and there are programs on the on your phone that you can use to record the volume so when you're done with the speech therapy you can actually keep track because a lot of these things you don't even notice like you don't even notice that your volume is low or that your volume um, you can't tell that your volume is better per se I don't know why but I was unable to tell um, so you do have to track it now and then with a, a program like that. Okay, so I'm going to end this video because I'm probably rambling, but those are just some things that, uh, things that I wanted to tell you about, about speech therapy. And usually it's like an hour session. So if you've done speech therapy and have more to add to this video, please leave that in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Bye.